It is definitely here. The Thrive Theme Builder is here, everybody. In this video, what I wanna do is give you my honest opinion about it, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, about this tool here. As you guys probably well know from my channel, I am a pretty big Thrive Themes fan uh, because I do like their mission. They're focused on conversion optimized websites, not just pretty looking websites. And they intentionally don't give you all the features you might want, but instead give you the features that they think are most important for building an online business. It's been helpful for me, it's been helpful for my family, and I think it can be helpful for you guys as well. Um, before we dive into that as well, just let me know if this is coming in loud and clear for you guys. I'm actually testing something out here. Um, hopefully the video quality is way better than it has been in the past. I'm actually using an old DSLR that we got from when my daughter was born and we just never used it. And we've been using webcams for all this stuff for so long. So I decided to hook it up and, and test the DSLR out here. So let me know if that's coming in loud and clear. And also I'm using a lapel microphone uh, just for, for, for fun, honestly. We'll see if this is gonna stick or if the better, my standard audio is better for that. But let's not waste any time. Y'all don't wanna see or hear me. You wanna check out uh, this tool here. So here is the Thrive Theme Builder sales page. Right now, they are in the middle of their launch period. I really wish I could have produced more content during this launch uh, to kind of uh, educate you guys about this tool, but life is tricky right now. Let's just go ahead and be honest, and I'm not able to create content like I'd like to. But I have played around. I'm actually in the process of converting my site over to the Thrive Theme Builder. I don't think it's fully there yet. Uh, if you go to IncomeMesh.com, you can see I'm, I'm slowly starting to build my site over, and I'm using a bit more of a content-focused uh, homepage here, and this is all Thrive Theme Builder. It's pretty stinking cool. My site loads nice and quickly. Um, I added that blur to my page. Like it, a lot you can do with this tool. I am super impressed with it so far. But I want to help you guys get an idea if this is for you. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just briefly check out the sales page. It's a long sales page. It's a gorgeous sales page. You guys take a look at it uh, on your own time. Here are kind of the, the key things you need to know. This is a theme as well as like a tool suite, a suite of tools that integrates in with the rest of the Thrive themes. Um, the white balance seems not right. Okay, cool, thanks. I'll take a look at that. I don't even know what white balance is. Everything's on auto here. Uh, but uh, Thrive, They've taken a different approach with their product suite. They used to have a ton of themes. They started out as a theme shop, but they went kind of the classic way that themes were back in the day, where you had very few options in terms of what you could customize and you got what you got. Now with this one, they're trying to create the theme to end all themes essentially. Uh, and this is going to be a very flexible shape shift theme is what they're calling it. And it basically allows you to build out your header, your top, your content, your sidebar every individual piece of your website, you get to have full control over it. And it's not actually a plugin, it is the theme itself. It's a pretty cool way they've implemented it. Um, and we'll go through and build out a, a website a little bit. I've got one pulled up here for you. Um, but you can see the pricing here. This is pretty important. So what, we, what you see on the license pack, you can either purchase this as a one-off purchase where you pay $127 and you get lifetime access to the updates. So as for as long as Thrive Themes is in business, you'll have all the access to the updates for that, uh, for this launch price. Or you can get it for five licenses or for a single license for a single website. If you're just a hobbyist, that would be fine. But if I were you, 30 more bucks to get four additional sites, I think it makes a ton of sense. And also they do have their membership pricing here. I'm a member myself, I pay with my own money, I enjoy it, some of the best $19 per month that I spend, um, which gets you access to all their plugins as well as all their themes and anything else that they produce. Basically, you have all access uh, pass to Thrive. So one important thing to know here is you'll see unlimited updates. This is going to change, and it does show in some of their emails they've talked about this, where they are moving to yearly updates very soon. And I think that's a very wise decision. I, would, I don't know if they're gonna do this for all their tools, but at least for the Thrive Theme Builder, they are looking to move into the, a bit more of a standard WordPress pricing model where they uh, charge you every year to maintain and update their tools. Uh, the, the lifetime deal pricing that they have, okay, I'll, I'll answer that question in just a second, Gabriel. So the lifetime pricing that they have right now, I don't know how sustainable of a model it is, which is one of the reasons why they are moving to this yearly updates. 
Uh, obviously, they've been in business for a long time. So I'm sure they're pricing things uh, correctly. They have incredible value with their membership. So if you look at the uh, the monthly membership, I think you get like 10 or 10 different plugins. We can take a look in a second uh, for that one price. And it's really quite, uh, quite affordable. But you've always had the option to buy lifetime updates for all their tools either way. So you've had this like conflict, which one should I purchase? Well, now they're making it way more attractive to simply go, go ahead and become a member and get access to everything right there. So Gabriel asks, hi, what is Thrive? So Thrive is, and there's a link in the description for wherever the, you're watching this from, Facebook or YouTube. Um, Thrive is a plugin and theme developer for WordPress, and they help you make conversion-focused websites. So be sure to ch uh, click out the link, incomemesh.com slash Thrive Theme Builder. It's a bit of a long link there, but that'll take you to show you exactly what we're uh, dealing with here today. I wanna go ahead and dive into a local website I'm playing with here. Let me go to, I built, I, I have the Thrive Theme Builder installed here on this website, and I wanna just show you a couple things uh, that I like uh, that makes Thrive where I keep going back to. You know, no matter whichever client I'm working with, Thrive Themes is one of those where I, 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 it's hard for me to not use them for most of my projects, and here are some of the reasons why. So the price with the Thrive products are, it's hard to beat. Um, if you need a simple website where you, it loads fast, you can create whatever you want to in your mind, you can put it on the canvas and it works. For lead generation and for selling digital products, Thrive is a pretty solid option. Um, the Theme Builder has really good integration with the rest of the Thrive tools. And if you sell information, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, if you're a freelancer or local business even, it's a pretty awesome option because it gives you a lot of really dynamic ways of doing all the styling work that you don't really wanna learn on your own, right? Um, the ability to brand your entire website with a few clicks is huge, and I'll show you that here in this video. The cons to, I would say, Thrive Themes as a whole is there's a bit more of a learning curve with Thrive than there would be with other tools that are out on the market. That's not to say it's harder to use, it simply requires you to think the way that Thrive thinks. And when you first dive into the platform, that can be a little bit counterintuitive, but as you start to learn, you'll quickly get as, as quick and proficient on this tool set than any other tool set that is out there. Um, additionally, WooCommerce, if you're a big WooCommerce person, know that it is coming, but it's not there right now. If I go back to the sales page, which should be right here. There it goes and I search for WooCommerce, they did address it on their page uh, that it is coming soon. So if you have a WooCommerce website, uh, what I'd recommend is don't install the Thrive Theme Builder on your website today, but know that it's a safe investment. They're putting their brand and they have some pretty good credibility, in my opinion, um, on their sales page saying that it is coming. So if you wanna get in for that lifetime pricing, you know, 100 bucks and you can essentially have your theme and your website and your e-commerce platform all working together. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take for it to be fully ready to go and fully um, out into the market, uh, but that is an option for you there. So let me go ahead and just build out a page here. I wanna show you a few different ways of building content with Thrive that just makes it so easy to do. So first and foremost, if I wanted to change how this page looks, so I've got just this little bit of content on the page here, but I've got my header, I've got a top section that kind of introduces the page itself, I've got the content itself, I've got a bottom section, and I've got the footer here as well. To edit kind of the layout of all of this, let's say you wanna have a really awesome looking uh, call to action that's specific for this uh, page. I can come up here to Edit with Thrive, and it used to simply have the Edit with Thrive Architect button, but now because we're using the Theme Builder, I can actually edit the entire theme of this page. So basically the way to think about it is the stuff inside the, con like inside the page itself, the blog post or the, the content for the page is what you do with Thrive Architect, but the theme itself will be everything outside that, that content window. Gabriel says, sounds interesting. Would love to know if it's comparable to Elementor with WooCommerce or Kartra. Uh, great question. I would say it's more comparable to Elementor than it is to WooCommerce as Elementor and Thrive both have full theme building capabilities. Uh, between the two, uh, Elementor's theme builder has been around longer, but the way they've implemented it is actually having it as a plugin and not as a theme itself. So I think that um, while Thrive's is newer, and I think it's it's 
updating extremely quickly as they're growing and developing and maturing, I think that um, it's, an, it's a more intuitive way of having it. Your actual theme is what you use it, your theme builder for, and it's all very front end, very easy to use. But I think it has, it's still new, right? It's still growing. Uh, as far as Kartra, uh, Thrive themes in general, their tool set, has a lot of overlap with Kartra. You know, the ability to do conversion optimization, being able to do uh, split testing, A-B split testing, where you can quickly create a landing page and then make a whole different landing page and direct your traffic to different areas. That it does, I think, better than Kartra. It's faster to launch a split test with Thrive and there's less things to remember when you do that. Uh, however, Thrive does not directly do payment integration. So if you wanna actually sell your stuff, you need a tool like Thrivecart, which is what I use and integrate in with Thrive Themes. It's a lot of Thrive, it's very confusing, right? Uh, Kartra is great if you just want it all in one, keep it as simple as possible. Uh, that's a solid option as well, all right? So, all right, let's pop over here. So now I dug into the theme builder and what you can see is you've got all the content we just wrote on this page. I can't edit it here because I'm, this isn't part of the theme. This is actually just the, the page or post content that you're working with. But if I wanted to change how the title looked, this title area up here, this is what I'm gonna to start to be able to edit here with my uh, theme builder. So if I wanted to edit this area, all I have to do is let's say I wanna add the featured image of the page. So I'm gonna search for featured. And now I can put this right here underneath the title. And I actually didn't add a featured image to this post, but we can uh, you know, use our imagination here. I could also change the call to action simply by clicking on it and, and changing it. So get my free goodies below. And instead of a call to action button, I could even bring in a lead generation form and collect their email address directly here and do all the styling I would like to do. It's a huge time saver. Let me save this. And what's kind of fun is if I do decide as I'm changing my theme that I see something that's not quite right in the post or vice versa, right? You can quickly come in and switch over to edit the content just with one click. So I can switch over to Thrive Architect. It's just gonna reload the page real quick. And now here we can see I've got my, I'm back to being able to edit the content. So I think the, the number of clicks to get what you want done is almost as efficient as I've seen it. Right, like it is one of the best so far at just pure efficiency at working with, with your content. And the fact that you're using the exact same building experience, you're not bouncing into the WordPress customizer for some settings and then going to a template area for other settings. It's all kind of here and, and pretty intuitive. So let's save and exit this. So general theme building is, is pretty fantastic. Let's go ahead and add a featured image to this post. I'll come here, featured image, and let's just set something. All right, let's just put something here. This is not a good featured image. It's just something that I had in the folder. So if we update the post and take a look, we'll see, holy moly. So again, this is too big of a picture. So what we can do here is uh, come back in and edit the theme and change how this looks. So what I wanna do instead is make this a background image so it doesn't take quite as much space. So what I'll do is on this top section, I'm going to go into the background style. And instead of just having a color here, let's go ahead and have an image as the background. And I'll make this a dynamic image for the featured image of the post. So here we go. And I can also make the section maybe a little bit bigger. So now this way, no matter what your dynamic uh, featured image is, it's gonna be right behind the title of the post. But as I see this, I probably wanna put a bit of an overlay, a dark overlay to make sure that this white is visible and readable at all times. I also probably wanna add a little bit of a blur to the featured image. And what's cool is you can do all this within Thrive Architect. You don't need any other tools, like any graphic editing tools to blur images and do pretty advanced things like that. So let's do that real quick. Go into background style. Let me go to my special effects and I want to change the blur. Let's add a bit of blur and look, look what's happening here. Isn't that so cool? So directly in your page builder, you can add blur over the background, background image, which makes this pop even better. So I'll add that blur and let's also add a bit of a color overlay, a solid cover color on top. 
and maybe something like that. So this definitely highlights the title, but it still gives you the context of what the featured image is behind it. I think that's pretty cool. We'll save and exit that. All right. So that's one of the general things I like about this whole builder is uh, the quick and easiness of making whatever changes you want. But to design a new page, let's say you have a sales page you wanna work with. You've got a couple of really cool options that are unique to the Thrive theme builder. So let's make a sales page example. I'll publish this guy. And let's launch into Thrive Architect. All right, so here we are by default, it's gonna dump us right back into the same template that we were just working with, uh, which you can see here, here's my blurred out background image. But for a sales page, I wouldn't really want this. This is still too much. I want them to be focused on the content I'm trying to you know, sell to them. So I'll click over here to the backdrop icons and all of the new um, smart landing pages, they have this new technology built in which let's say here, so this Atomic 2, I haven't tried this one yet, but I like it. So here we can see, I can go into a sales page. Let's do like a video sales page here. And you can pretty quickly get started with an already proven format. Uh, you can, it, the design is, can be minimal. I like minimal designs in general. So this is about as minimal as you can get. But what's cool about this is you're, you're not stuck having to build everything if you need something more, you're not kind of left of a creek without a paddle. You don't need to go in and add just blank background sections to add more content in. You can, and if you have specific needs for your design, you can definitely add your own custom portions in. But this new little page block button shows up. And what Thrive has done, which is pretty awesome, is they've created full-blown blocks for each individual theme style. So this one is pretty powerful right here. I like this a lot. Um, goodness, they've really done a lot for this one here. So there's 110 and they're gonna automatically match the styling and the color for your page. So if we take a look at this page here, let's see what this page kind of needs. Like what is missing to make this a perfect sales page? So I've got a good call to action. I've got a little sub headline. I've got a video, I've got a small little text and then a buy button. So I probably wanna have some social proof, right? Like that's one of the best converters in the world is other people proving that your stuff actually works. So underneath the video, before I ask them to buy, I wanna add in some testimonials. So I'll click over here to smart landing page block. And as I scroll over, I'll find six different block options already done, already ready for you for testimonials. And I like this one here. I like letting them scroll a little bit. So look what happened. My color scheme, which is that orange, is still here. The Font type, which is this Playfair dis display, is still here. There is literally no styling that you have to do with this page block functionality, but you can do styling, right? Like you're not limited, it's not so scripted that that's all you can do, but check this out. If I decide that this is not my brand color, I can click on this little central style panel and you can see the default color branding that we have here, but I can switch it up and now I'm blue and dark or I can switch it up and be orange and another weird dark, or pink and gray. You get the idea. Um, all the coloring on this page is dynamic. So if, just, if I pick a color and it's linked to the theme itself, the theme that I'm setting up here in this branding section, I can customize this and it'll change everything on the page that is with that color scheme. See that? This is huge. If you, if you build for clients and you build landing pages and funnels and things like that, um, clients can change their branding preferences over time, right? Like they think they want gray and then afterwards they realize they wanted blue. Uh, how nice would it be? Uh, because not only will this change on this page, but if you use this with the theme builder, it can change the branding throughout the entire website if you're building them like a business website or something like that. So I'm a huge fan of this one. So just to show you, that's some testimonials we can say. Our customers love our stuff. And then underneath this, I can also add in another block. And let's add a pricing table because you know that was a little Spartan just says join our community or something like that. So I can add in my own pricing table 
And let's say we have a couple different options. Here's a monthly and a yearly option. And as you notice, it pulls in all the same branding colors. It's just point, click, change, maybe add a few more things, add your content, and you're ready to link all this up to your payment processor. Let's go back and just change the colors one last time. Look at that, totally different feel to it now with a different color scheme. So I'm a huge fan of their smart page builders. Let me go ahead and save that page here and we'll move on to the next feature. So Gabriel asks, what payment integrator do you recommend with Thrive? I'm always trying to find something that's fast and easy for the customer. Yes, if you want fast and easy, I do recommend Thrivecart. I do have a bonus offer, which you can go to incomemesh.com slash Thrivecart, I think it is, and check that out. The reason why I like Thrivecart with Thrive Themes is it, it simply works well together. Uh, they're actually, like this is kind of a hush hush right now, but it's coming. They are working on a direct integration between Thrivecart and Thrive Themes. They sound alike, why don't they integrate yet? Um, so what that's going to allow you to do is if somebody buys a product that you built in Thrive Cart, you'll have access to a course that you can link up together in Thrive Apprentice. So that can be huge if you want to sell courses on your website and huge for a lot of different reasons uh, like that. But I do like Thrive Cart. Um, I used to use cart flows quite heavily. And as you notice, it, you know, WooCommerce integration is something that's still coming. Uh, so that's one, that's another option, but I definitely do think that for the simplicity and if you're also working with clients and if they want to set up their own shopping cart platform, it's a pretty easy sell. It's not that expensive for a local business or a, a, whatever business you're serving and you pay it once and you get a, a decent little referral fee if you're an affiliate for Thrivecart and it just works out really well. So that's definitely the one that I recommend. All right, let me show you one other thing here. So this was a pre-built designed page but it wasn't linked to the theme itself. It was just a pure page that, that you build out, um, no header, no footer, anything like that. But I can also do a theme specific page and they have their own technology built in for their theme builder. So let me go ahead and add in a new page here. Once again, got this weird page design that we, we put together real quickly, but what I can do, go to my cloud, instead of choosing one of these like consultant or copy or bright, any of these, I can go straight to the shape shift theme and you can see it has page blocks ready as well. So I'll click here and they've given us you know, a ton of different silo pages, of home pages, et cetera. Or if you wanna do your own sales page, just go to a blank page right here. And what's kind of cool about this is whether you wanna do a sales page or maybe an about me page or anything like that, the theme coloring is, will be kept the same throughout your entire website. So let's say you know, this is your website, your default color scheme for your website. All your backgrounds will be the same, all your, not the same, but they'll be, you know, they'll work together. They'll be um, uh, well designed together. So in the same way, I can create a heroes area for this page. And let's say I wanna do a big call to action here. And we'll just say Thrive Theme Builder, Professional Designs, for non-designers. I do feel that's what they're going after here, giving you the ability. They've taken um, your flexibility and kind of given you everything you want, but they've made it so easy if you're not good at making a good design on your own from scratch, they've made it easy for you to create a good flowing page that kind of looks like it belongs. So let's show an example of that. So we have built a header section. We probably wanna have a little text section underneath this. So after all that color, let's just have a white text section. And I'm not gonna add all the content in on this page here, uh, but you can kind of see how this will build out to a nice sales page over time. Explain what the product is in such a few words, get them interested, tell them a little bit about it. Let's go into maybe a features section. Let's do, benefits and features, there we are, couldn't find it there. Alrighty, and you can see you've got some that are colors, some that are white background. Let's add some color here to it just in case. And now notice, this color isn't the exact same default color, but it's, it's a shade of it. It's a lighter version of that. And if I go in and check that out, you'll see what they did here. So this pink is the light accent version of the main color. This is my main color, 
but you can create all these different variations automatically with Thrive. So if you're not good at picking what colors go well together, this could be a solution for you, right? You can still add in everything else. So let's do something here. Let's add an icon to these sections here because I think that would be a nice little fit. And let's just pick a little icon here. Now, if I change the color of this icon, I can pick any color, right? I can pick white, I can pick dark, or I could pick the template color, right? And let me copy this and move this over to another one. So this color is once again dynamic. So let's do this here. So let's save it real quick. And let me go ahead and just change my color scheme and you'll see what happens on this block here, which really explains kind of the dy dynamic nature of it all. All right, so I moved from the pink over to this orange. So my background color became a lighter orange, right? It was all in line, all on brand. And the icons changed to my new theme color. So if I took this one and instead moved it over here and just gave it a simple color, like if I didn't make it part of my theme, I just made it, um, uh, let's pick a cancel. I don't want it to be on my theme here. Okay, here we go. So if I just took this and made it red, right? Let's just go here to red. If I change my theme color now, these two guys should be dynamic, but this one will stay static. So it doesn't mean that you have no flexibility anymore. Uh, it just gives you some options. So if I make my theme color blue, look at that. So you have a lot of flexibility there. So uh, Phoenix Rising asks, does this work with existing posts on WordPress? Uh, absolutely. So let's, let's do this real quick. Um, let me get to that one. We'll do a blog post in just a minute as well. And I'll show you another feature that's about the Thrive ecosystem that's not really specific to the theme builder, but I'll show you how all that works as well. Um, so, all right, we're building out our page. It's looking good. I don't like the fact this isn't matching. So let's go ahead and move this over. And you can get an idea about how, it easy, how easy it is. And, you know, a question for you guys on the stream. Have you guys ever used any Thrive products in the past? Have you used Architect? Have you used the Theme Builder? Let me know uh, in the comments. I'd be curious because uh, I'm going to kind of skip around with different uh, tools and functionality. But after using this for years, I know it, I make it look easy. And people can, you know, it, it's not always so easy. So let's add some testimonials in again. Let's add in a... Uh, maybe a, a bright text area, like a text area that's gonna really call them out. So let's maybe do this one. And as we scroll through here, like we're building out a sales page. Like, obviously you need to bring your own content, bring your own words, but design and style wise, if you've always felt yourself getting caught up and, and stuck when it comes to building beautiful looking sales pages, look at this, I, I love this. It's a nice mix between customization, like you can do whatever you want to. You can add another column over here. You can have a lot of fun with it, or you can just go ahead and use what they have for you and make your life a little bit easier, <laughs> which, hey, I'm loving simplicity right now. All right, and let's put just a pricing table so you can see that as well. And I like that one there. And look at that, isn't that a nice pricing table with that? All you did was told it what color you want. You can also change you know, the fonts and everything else. You can decide if that header up here you can hide the header like you might want to. And it's just a simple toggle switch, uh, you know, on the, the footer as well. Hey, do you wanna see the footer? Yes or no, boom, it's gone. Really, really impressed and enjoying this. And what's fun here, the reason why this is a great sales page example is if I wanted to do a split test, let's do that. So why would you do a split test? Well, maybe you wanna test out a different headline. So I can just copy the page that was already built and go into variation number two. And all I wanna do here is say, buy Thrive Theme Builder, if you want. All right, so just having some fun with it. Maybe I can get rid of that button there. Whatever changes you wanna do, you can make whatever changes you want. And once you're happy with it and say, let's see which one converts better, simply click on that AB button, and then you can start your test and say testing headline on my sales page. Say so I want it to automatically give me the best winner and set it up. 
And now how you decide to measure your success, that's up to you. If you're doing a, a opt-in page, like a squeeze page to get email subscribers, you'd wanna use a subscription form. If you're doing what we're doing here, we wanna like see if they're getting to the next step, if they're getting to the thank you page. So I would set up a thank you page here and um, you know link that page. So let's say here, uh, I don't know if I have any pages. Let's just say about, here we go. There we go, sample page. All right. If they get to that page, it's gonna count as a conversion. Start the test. Sure, if they get to that page, it'll be a success, and then it'll measure your conversions. And if you're a geek like me, it is pretty awesome. So then if I were to go to this page in an incognito window, you can see I got this version. And if I were to test it over and over and over again, I would see um, the data start to refresh and see which one I get. So you can see I've got a unique visitor that came on that version, uh, but they didn't convert because I didn't get to my desired page. All right, last thing I wanna show you here is for bloggers, which I am one as well, word to my bloggers, if you wanna make a new post, blog post, I wanna show you a few things here because their, their post formats are so easy to use, I love it. Let's design some blog posts real fast. And by the way, if you guys are liking what you're seeing, you can click on the link in the description, I think it should be there, or just go to incomemesh.com slash thrive theme builder and check that out for yourself. I'm, I'm definitely endorsing it for the right people. If you care about the data, if you want front end editing, and if you're tired of putting tons and tons of plugins on your website for all these Gutenberg built things, whatever you wanna do, you can do in Thrive Architect without additional plugins, which I'm a huge fan for. All right, so here I am inside of a blog post. What's cool about Thrive is they have these content blocks. So this is not the exact same as their landing pages. It gets a little bit confusing here, I will admit, uh, but their content blocks are different than page blocks. What content blocks are is, let's say you're writing a blog post and you like to review tech like I do, you can come in here and have a pre-designed review list and just click on it and it can pull in all of the stuff you need. You just put in your own images, change your stars from four out of five to two out of five if that's not a very good camera, update content, and you can style this as well the same way you could with uh, your theme. I'm just gonna make sure that button is that pink color that I have for my theme. So let's go ahead and change that to a pink color. And the accent color here would be like my stars. So maybe my accent color can be a, a gold and boom. And now you've, that's, that's hideous, right? Like don't, don't hate me for my quick uh, color picking, but that is how you can set up a blog post really quickly. And also if you're just writing, you can add text. They actually created distraction free mode. So it can actually get rid of everything and you can just go on and write your heart out. This is Thrive. You get the idea. I'm a big fan. When you're ready to you know, edit and change things around, come up here, go back to normal mode, and you can drag stuff in, drag stuff out, have a lot of fun with it. So I am a big fan. I'm going to continue to work on my own website in between client projects and in between my, my other business as well. Uh, but this seems to be a pretty solid option for most people. Um, if you're interested in checking it out, I'm also gonna be working on building out my own theme that can be shared with other users in Thrive Architect, and I'll add that in for free here. All right, Leon asked the page speed. Let's run a, let's run a page speed test here. Uh, so we will definitely do that in just a moment before I hop off. Uh, one thing I wanna show you here is, let's say this is not just a regular blog post with, with you know text focus. Let's say it's a YouTube video instead. What you can do let me click over to the post settings here. You can change the template settings from standard to video, for example. And what this will do is open up a few more options for you. So actually my entire design has changed, right? So I have, I have this whole new design that has its own sidebar. So if you wanted to create a few different styles of, of posts, you, maybe you have a big list post and it has a certain sidebar on it or a review post that has a certain you know, Im image header like that, you can set all that up on your own and 
simply come in here to the post settings and it'll allow you to put in a video that, there it is. I'm still getting used to it myself, right? Um, I can put in a, my own video source, YouTube, Vimeo, Vue Player even, which is pretty cool. And I can put a YouTube video in here, which I don't have one, but let's go ahead and get, find one. All right, let's see, uh, I'm looking at some stakes recently. Get that URL, come back in, paste it in. And now let's go ahead and save our work and preview it. And now, because there's no featured image on there, uh, on this blog post, that's why I showed that little dummy image. Uh, but my video would load right there, my blog post would be below. And if I wanted to get rid of the sidebar, for example, I can come over here to the theme styling and make a few changes here. And with one click, I can turn off the sidebar entirely. Boom, sidebar is gone. My content automatically spreads out and takes a lot of you know, the space that it needs. And I can rock and roll from there. I can also change my sections. A lot of, a lot of cool things you can do here. But how fast is it, is the question. So let me go over to my website, uh, which I will tell you, I would say is kind of under construction right now, but um, you know, it's pretty good. So let's take a look. Before we run a speed test, let's take a look at what's going on on this particular page. So it's image heavy. You know, There's several images for all my blog posts, um, multiple sections. So this is gonna be probably not the best page to test. Let's test this one to show an image heavy page. I'll go to GT metrics and let's run that. And I will also, while that's running, test out my contact page, which is a much simpler page. So this will probably give us a better idea of how the theme loads. All right, so test number one is finishing up and my water is done. Okay, so all that was able to load in 2.6 seconds. For me, anything under three seconds, I am happy with, and I'm not gonna fuss about. Um, I have could probably do more optimization on this. You can see it doesn't like some of the image sizes, uh, but I'm not gonna fret over 200 kilobytes. Um, expire headers, that's probably something with the theme that they could do a better job with. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm gonna be happy with picking it up that quickly and painting that quickly. Let's also check out the contact page. I know some people have said that their Thrive websites can load slowly, and I would just ask you to take a look at your um, hosting as well. Uh, you know, Thrive is giving you a lot of power under the hood, and it, it can definitely slow down a website um, like anything can. But I have found that, especially if you don't have WooCommerce, nothing you're gonna do with Thrive is gonna slow you down like WooCommerce will. All right, so here's a website that doesn't have as many images, and you can see 95% page speed score, 86% why slow score, and two second fully loaded. Now remember, that's fully loaded. So it's also my Thrive leads, other scripts are running in the background. Um, it's actually painted on the screen in 1.6 seconds. So I'm not gonna fuss about that. I'm, I'm happy with it. If I see what I could do better. I am using a CDN, but the one that I, I use isn't like fully recognized. So that's probably what's going on there. Long story short, it's fast enough for, for my purposes. Um, yeah, so that's a quick look at Thrive Theme Builder. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. It's great to be back with you guys, whether it's you know in a live stream or me just putting out content. I will be getting so much more content out to you guys. I've got like all this pent up demand to like get stuff produced. I'm just working through a lot of life stuff with all the craziness that's out there. So I um, hope you guys enjoy that. And thank you, Leon, for, for that there. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing you exactly, and you can, so you guys can see as well. So here's the process for updating a page on my own website. I can come in, edit this page with Thrive Architect, because uh, I was working on this just the other day as I was debating, like, should I switch over to Thrive Theme Builder? And for myself, like for my own needs, I need to be able to gr create content pretty quickly because I don't have that much time, and I do try to work with clients a lot as well. Um, so this section here, I was like, that's pretty cool. It would take me a while to, you know, design the this offset from the, you know, the bubble and the icons and all that. 
But for me, it was as easy as, let me come over here, find my little plus button. I think that was a features. And I, so I'm pulling back the kimono here, or what is it, opening the kimono? Like, I didn't spend all that much time on it, and I was able to create something like this, which I'm happy for. Like, when I design things from scratch, I would like to say I'm a totally pro designer, and I can get some good stuff done. My funnels tend to convert quite well, I'm very happy for, but it's better if I just use something that already works, already is nice, and that's kind of what we're doing here. I'm just struggling to find my trash can. There we go. <laughs> so that is kind of how that goes. Let me check out the comp. Oh, you can't see my screen. Dag, gum it. Hey, Neil. Yeah, it's good to be back, man. It's been a, it's been a rough, been a rough summer. But what I was trying to show you guys was being able to quickly pop in, and go in here and like this section that I put together. That would take a while to design that, to do it four times and get that offset and all that. Or you can go in and just use what they're using. And if you needed to have maybe another section, maybe you have six benefits, not just the four, just clone that and bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to go again for more. So super flexible, keeps your brand consistent. I'm a huge, huge fan. So that is about it for today. Uh, Leon asks, do you replace Thrive Leads with other lead plugin? Um, do you replace Thrive Leads? Well. I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that, but I'll do my best. So you can use Thrive Leads with any page builder, any tool set at all. It's a fantastic tool on their own. Outside of Thrive Architect, I would say it's their best plugin. Um, but with Thrive Theme Builder, you can have lead generation sections that are built in, like this guy here. If I were to put this guy here, this actually isn't Thrive Leads. So it's easier, it's faster. You don't need to create a Thrive Leads design and then bring a short code in or add it in like that. Uh, it's super simple. If you just need to quickly put something on your page, this is great, but it definitely doesn't replace Thrive Leads. So if I wanted to have, for example, a pop-up that hits this, this page or a pop-up that hits any category of pages, I would design that in Thrive Leads and then set that up to go to whatever specific category or thing like that that I'm looking for here. Just check out here. Oh, oh, replace the, would I replace Thrive Leads with something else? So that's actually a, a cool point. Um, like if I look at page speed scores, I, I hear people say that, that Thrive Leads can, throw down, can slow down your website. And I would say that's a half truth. And what I mean by that is it can slow down your fully loaded time, but I've never really seen it slow down your on load time. And here is a critical difference. I should do a whole post about this and I probably will soon is fully loaded is what happens when everything is loaded onto the page. The stuff that's required for the user experience, as well as all the code and the gobbledygook that happens that people never see. What I care about when I'm looking at my page performance, I actually don't really look at my fully loaded time that much. I look more at this red number here, this on load number, because that's the time it takes for people to experience your page, for everything to, to look done the little loading window on Chrome may still be loading. And what's happening there is if they're experiencing the website, they see all the pictures, they can browse through, but it's still loading. That's things like tracking scripts. That's things like pixels. That's things like deferred JavaScript, which is too techy for, for everybody. But um, ultimately it doesn't slow down the experience. You can get a bad page speed score. And that's why I tell myself, as long as this number down here is under three, I'm gonna look the other way, I'm gonna focus my energies on something more important because what that's doing is, you know, Thrive actually, like their comments plugin and their leads plugin are awesome at this. Page speeds will destroy them. They'll say that they're awful or they'll add like, you know, four seconds, five seconds. But the reason for that is it's gonna load everything and only once the, the user's happy is where it's gonna start loading up the Thrive leads Jar jargon, like the stuff that it needs, the code that I don't understand, that allows it to decide when and where to pop up. It does the tracking on your page to know when they got to 50% or whatever your trigger is to show the pop up. Um, all that stuff, it doesn't need, it's not a priority. So they've deferred it, same way with Thrive Comments, they've deferred the loading of all of that script until after the actual user experiencing it is happy. So um, for that reason, I, I'm sticking with Thrive Leads. There are other tools if you want to have something that is not tied just to your website. 
which is pretty cool as well. So that's all I got for you guys today. Um, it's been great being back with you. Um, John here from incomesh.com. You know, the call to action for this video is strongly consider if you're happy with your theme, if you're happy with your page builder and all that, don't make a change, like keep moving forward. But if you are struggling with design and maybe your page, your website isn't that fast and whatever the case might be, if you're looking at an easier way to build professional looking websites, Thrive Theme Builders launch pricing is going to change. I'm not sure if they're gonna increase the price of the plugin, but they are moving to an annual subscription, which is like a huge increase, right? Like one-time payment versus lifetime uh, for updates. It's a, it's a big change, so consider it. I would recommend if, you're, if you don't have all their tools already, get a membership, it's worth it, incomemesh.com slash thrive membership or check out the link in the description below. And that is all I got for you guys today. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.